My name's Gareth Morgan. I'm excited to be here in Ash 2018. Um, it's been a very interesting meeting and we've presented some data on a new type of genetic damage that I think is really relevant to uh, multiple myeloma. So people have focused on things that are called point mutations and so we've measured lots of those and the thing that's obvious is that we don't have enough molecular drivers so 15% of cases we can't find any abnormalities so the idea was to look at the part of the genome where we haven't looked before that's called the non-coding genome so we looked in there and what we found was that things called structural rearrangements where there's a break in the DNA and another piece of DNA is inserted and so those have been known for a while but what was really interesting is that sometimes three, four, five, even six bits of DNA come together and that comes together in two ways. One is called chromaplexy where you form new chromosomes and when you put the genes together a thing called a super enhancer leads to all of them being overexpressed and that can lead to rapid changes in patient behaviour and instead of this slow evolution you get something called punctuated evolution where you go from muggers one minute maybe to plasma cell leukemia and we've been looking for an explanation for that for years. The other type of DNA is where when the cell divides one of the chromosomes lags behind and goes into something called a micronucleus and in that nucleus there's the chromosome gets mashed up and then it gets put together but the problem is it's put together in the wrong order and so different genes regulate different parts of the chromosome and so you get this chaotic signal and again it can lead to rapid changes in behavior and so if you look at all of those we know now that it's caused by p53 mutations abnormal dna repair and abnormalities of the cell cycle so it's a really neat story that's relevant for patients and it's possible to target these events using things like bromodomain inhibitors. So I think it's exciting and it, it, it will change how we understand myeloma going forward.